We ready to roll? Hope you're feeling good. Staying as active as you can. This video will target our chest and upper back and it will take place seated in a chair. So you've got some options. Let's just start out by moving around while we talk. Okay? Roll through your feet. Lift your toes and lift your heels and lift your toes and lift your heels and pump your elbows. So, the best thing for this one is to be in a chair that has arms. And always proceed with caution. When in doubt, you can place the back of the chair against a wall so it won't move. If you need support behind your lower back, place a rolled towel or a pillow, okay? Feet go side to side, knees go side to side, arms go side to side. The other thing you'll need for this video, if you choose, are a couple of cans, maybe of soup, unless you have weights, dumbbells, you can always grab a couple of cans. Now remember, 16 ounces is one pound. Okay? So wherever you want to be, you don't need anything. Let's see what we can do with this. Just kick it out right here, nice and easy. Show me the soles of the feet. Show me the soles of the feet. With good posture. We're going to take an arm and press it forward as we gently kick. Anytime you want to rest, you do. Remember, no pain ever. No shortness of breath. No dizziness. And it's always a good idea to have your Sarah pendant right near you during these exercises, okay? Let's take those arms and wave them overhead. Now we got two tempos going on. Can't raise them up. Keep them down. Maybe one up. And then come down. And up. And down. Let's rock those knees side to side. Four, three, two. Now I want you to lead with the backs of the hands forward turn them and lead with the backs of the hands out and you can see how it rounds the shoulders and then they drop down your back and open your chest slow it down round your back and stretch it open your chest and stretch it so if you need to go lower with your arms you go right ahead Couple more. One more. And relax those arms down. Let's open out the knees so you may need to slide forward. Straddle position. Hands resting gently on those legs. You're going to take a shoulder and circle it forward and backward. Here we go. Forward and forward and back. So what you want to be careful for are these wrists. If it bothers the wrist, you can come up to those fingertips. And if it feels good and your lower back has no issues, you can slow it down and go forward and back. You could even think of it as you're trying to take your shoulder blade and scoop it over and then bring it back. A few more here. Watch those wrists. Arms out. Now reach for the inside of your knees. Side to side arms and walk those legs forward. Nice and easy. Seven, you can do fists, fingers, fists, fingers, Fists and fingers, good. Face 
or point your forearms forward. Rotate the arms so your bent elbows, forearms are pace, pointing upward. Kind of like a goal post. Now rotate from the shoulder, forearms down, rotate from the shoulder, forearms up. This is for the range of motion in your shoulder. So if you have a shoulder issue, you may know it. So be careful. It also gives you the opportunity to feel the difference between right and left. A few more here. Let's go one more time. And up. We're going to bring the arms down to our sides and tilt our head to one side. Ear comes down towards shoulder. And tilt your head the other way. Light stretch in the side of the neck goes out toward the shoulder. Okay, and release to the center. Big inhale stretch. We're going to mimic the exercises we will do. And then we will do them trying to contract the muscles more. So if you want to use some cans of vegetables or cans of soup, now would be a good time to go get them. Okay? But first, set them down. Back up in your chair. We're going to place the palms on an imaginary wall in front of us and push. Push them. Picture yourself doing a push-up. That's the motion. We will be doing some chair push-ups. So if you have a wrist issue, it might be something you would like to skip. And as we're pushing, just in, along the lines of the wrist, Drop your hands down or fingertips down and push the wall in front of you with the backs of your hands. Remember, it's an imaginary wall. How about palms up forward and the other way? Palms forward, backs of the hands forward. Palms forward, backs of the hands. Good. All right. Bring it in. Reach it up. Reach it up. Reach it up, okay? Starting here, now gently. Reach over your head and then come back. Reach over your head. Now when I say over your head, your arm comes next to your ear. Okay, so if you cannot reach it that high, here's what you can do. Reach it part way up and bring your elbow into your side. Reach it part way up, elbows bent. Reach it part way up. And then when we get to the exercise itself, as the arm comes down, your elbow will draw backward towards your spine. It will draw backward so you can go up and over and then draw your arm down and toward your spine. That's your lat pull down, lat reach. Lat pull down, lat reach. Lat pull down, relax those arms down, shake your shoulders, roll them back. and come forward in your chair a bit. All right, reverse fly. We're going to take one forearm, bring it across the front of us, lean forward on it. If this bothers you, you can sit up, it'll work more shoulder, but you're okay. Hang one arm down to the side. Lift it out and lower it down. Lift it out and lower it down. Lift it out. So as you lift it out, I'll turn diagonally. You can bend that elbow some, and here we are again, pulling that elbow gently toward the spine. And when we do that, our palm turns somewhat forward. Other side, out. You can go knuckles up, shoulder height. Or bending the elbow, drawing it backward allowing the palm to turn forward a bit. So on the pull back, your thumb ends up pointing somewhat at the ceiling. Feel your shoulder blade move, okay? Great. Let's do one more time here. And then press down on your thighs with your hands to come up. 
open your knees, backs of the hands inside the legs. We're going to do diagonal arm raise across the front. Posture's tall, palm facing up, palm facing up. Remember, we're just mimicking the exercises that you can add a dumbbell or a soup can to. We'll do them. Diagonal arm raise for the chest, good. Bring those legs in. Now you're forward in your chair. So if you need that support for your low back, place a pillow behind it. We will recline. So now our bodies are on an incline. Hands in front of the shoulders, near the chest, and press up. Now because you're at an incline, when you press up, your hands are forward. Your arms are forward of your face. So engage your abs. Tighten your midsection so you don't cave in. Okay, that's your incline. Press. Couple more. Let's do four. And three. Twice. In this position, also an incline chest fly. Hands go out about shoulder height and then come up. Hands go out, shoulder height, and then come up. Now remember when I say up, they're forward of your face because you're at an incline, okay? And that's your chest fly. If you can't bring them that high, bring them more forward, okay? All right, up we go. Hands on thighs. Give yourself a stretch forward, spine in line. Push it up. Shake those shoulders out any way you want. All right, were you ready to start the work? Four, three, hands on the arms of the chair. If they're curved, they do not go on the curve. You can back up, tuck those elbows in a bit. What we're striving for is to straighten the elbows. You'll feel your buttocks come up out of the chair, I hope. So think of it as you're trying to get up out of your chair, but you can't use your legs. Okay. Note the shoulders don't punch up toward the ears or try to avoid that. If it hurts the wrists, hang tight or just push and pull forward and back. So we will do multiple reps. High reps, low resistance if any. So if you're using a heavy dumbbell that you, if you happen to have one, you wanna be careful. Don't expect to do all the reps. You can always do some. Put whatever resistance you have down and continue. A couple more, and one more time. Great. Relax and shake those shoulders. Shake those hands. Shake it out. Any way you want. All right, now's the time to grab those soup cans, or dumbbells if you have them or cans of vegetables. And let's come forward or stay back in your chair. You can open those knees over the head and elbow back. Over the head and elbow back. Now when I say elbow back, I'll show you from the side. You draw your elbow backward toward your spine. Squeeze your upper back on four, three, two, Let's go, soup cans, over. And elbow pulls in, and over. You should feel your shoulder blade moving. And remember the modification, okay? Maybe you can only lift a little bit, but you can pull that elbow back, okay? Modification as needed. Pull back, over, pull back. I need you to crack the walnut that you're holding between your shoulder blades. 
except you're using one shoulder blade at a time. Few more right here we go. Remember, high reps, low resistance. If you're using a heavy weight right now, you may very well need to stop. Squeeze. Shoulder blades. Torch fine. Body temperature going up. Never holding breath. Can we do two more? We can try. One more time here. And release. You can set those soup cans down, whatever you need. Shake those shoulders out. I'm going to roll my soup cans. We have tomato and chicken noodle today. Shake it out. All right, are we ready for our reverse fly? Okay, I think I'll use tomato for this one. Remember, you're gonna lean forward on your arm, on your thighs. Neutral spine, okay? We're not rounding or arching. Chin lifted. And out we go, out, shoulder height, out, shoulder height. I'm going to turn on a slight diagonal for you. Now bend that elbow slightly, bend that elbow slightly, pull it towards your spine, feel that shoulder blade, feel that erector spinae, I think I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, it's big muscle that lines the spine, I think it might be an erector spinae, okay, now let's make it more intense as you do this, your soup can turns upward or your thumb points up slightly, and your palm faces forward, One more time, we're going to lower the arm. You can push yourself up with your other arm. Soup can, anything if you're using it in your other hand, fold your body forward. Here we go, shoulder height and down. So we are doing a reverse fly on the second side. And remember, I'm turned at an angle. Now draw that elbow back a bit. Okay, so you're gonna bend it and pull it backward a bit. A few more here. Remember, you got your, some of your weight, your upper body weight on that arm across your legs for support. Never hold that breath, breathe. And then that thumb turns up a bit. Palm turns front a bit. Should make the exercise for the upper back, rear shoulder a little bit more intense. You go to the position you want to go in. Any of the ones we've done so far. A few more right here. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Neutral spine. One more like this. Gently ease your way up. You can place your soup cans or if you're holding anything down and shake those shoulders once again. Now clasp those hands and just reach both arms forward. Allow your shoulders to go forward with your spine neutral, erect, and you'll feel that gentle pull across your upper back because we are switching it back to chest. Release, one more for the chest. We're going to need both soup cans or dumbbells or can of green beans or nothing. You can contract the muscles you're using even without using resistance. Open your knees, come on forward, straddle pose if you can. Now, if you can't straddle, legs in 
and bring your heels forward a bit so you don't hit your knees. Backs of the hands against those inner knees. Posture tall and elbow comfortable. Here we go. Diagonal lift, lower. Leading with your palm. Your almost straight arm goes diagonally across the body, only as high as you're comfortable. So maybe you can't or don't want to lift it too high. Okay, that's okay. I need you to contract your chest muscles and the fronts of your shoulders, okay? So let's go. Squeeze, lower. Squeeze, lower. Squeeze, lower. Squeeze, lower. Come on, squeeze that upper chest. No pain, and breathe. Squeeze that upper chest. Squeeze, we'll do two more. You know that walnut you held between your shoulder blades? It's now right in the center of your chest. Now, two arms. They come up and meet in the center and go back to where they were. That walnut is right there in the center of your chest. Ready? Crack it! Squeeze your chest muscles together. Yeah! So the backs of the hands still come down toward those inner, inner knees, if you will, or inner thighs. Squeeze. Anywhere along the inside of the upper leg. Squeeze, and squeeze. Nice and easy, that's good. Walk those legs in. We're gonna set our soup cans down or our weights or whatever you may or may not be using and shake those arms and shoulders. Shake, shake, shake it out. Now I want you to back up in your chair. Let's stretch. Place your back all the way against the chair. Clasp those hands out in front. They're lower than your shoulders and extend those arms. Now reach, reach, reach. I want you to feel your upper back, upper middle back, pulling away from the chair because you're reaching. Pretend I've got your wrists and I am pulling them toward me, but your low back is glued to the chair. Upper back stretch. And breathe, relax your neck. And relax. Bring your shoulders back, let them sit down onto your shoulder blades and tilt your head to the side, still stretching. And switch sides. and lift it up. We're gonna, going to take our arms. We're going to reach them upward in a very wide V. Now I want you to gently press your arms back and that should give you a stretch along the fronts of the shoulders, some upper chest, where you felt the diagonal lifts. Now, hold that there and breathe. So we're also not arching the low back. Feel it against your chair. If you are unable to raise your arms or you just don't feel like it, that's okay. You lower them down, you turn your palms forward, and you draw them backward and open your chest. So you can be in your wide V opening, or you can be essentially in your upside down V and opening and breathe. Now release, okay. We're going to do one up, one down. So meet them in the front, reach. Let's bring one arm up and one arm down. So you've got a half a V up and a half of an upside V down. I want you to draw those arms backward, opening yourself up in a diagonal line. Now, if you want, you can also bend backward at the wrist. See my upper hand? It bends back, as did my lower hand. Breathe, and release to the front. Switch, other hand up, 
Other arm down. So you're a diagonal line right now from one hand to the other. But I want you to go backward. Bend back at the wrist. Feel that gentle pull diagonally across the front, even into your upper arms. And breathe. And let's release it down. Very nice. You can stay back in your chair. You can sit upright. But I want you to shake those shoulders again and arms and hands and fingers. All right. One elbow up in front of you. Bent so your forearm and fingertips are pointing at the ceiling. So we've got that elbow up on that imaginary shelf in front of us. Your other hand grabs it and pulls it right into the chest. So I will turn sideways. Pull it right into your chest and feel the stretch across the back of the shoulder, some of the upper back, even down into the arm. Pull it into your chest. Feel your elbow pushing against your chest because that's where you're pulling it. And if you want, you can even pull it farther across the front of you. Can you take your head? and tilt it toward the hand that's resting on your shoulder. Should give you a good neck and shoulder stretch on the opposite side. And hold that there. Breathe, breathe. No pain, just a gentle stretch. We're just about done. Release the neck, release the arm, and put the second elbow up on the imaginary shelf in front of you. Posture, grab it. Pull it in, down, across the front, and drop that hand over the shoulder. Remember, this elbow is down against your chest. And tilt your head toward the hand that's on your shoulder. And breathe. Two more. Release your neck, release your arm. Bring both elbows up on those imaginary shelves next to you, but they're lower than your shoulders. Take those elbows. Think about trying to touch them together behind your back. You can wiggle in your chair if you want. Bring those elbows back and open up the chest and relax them down back all the way up in your chair so your back is fully supported. I'd like you to bring your chin down to your chest. Provided you can breathe comfortably, no dizziness, no vertigo, no pain, feel a stretch along the back of the neck. Now lift it neutral. Careful here, we're going up with the chin, shoulders relaxed. Stretching the front of the neck, breathe, breathe, but don't leave that head cocked back for too long, bring it neutral. Ear to shoulder, sideways tilt, shoulders level. As you lift your head, inhale. Exhale, tilt it in the other direction. Lift your head neutral. Take a deep breath in. 